I'm going to talk about some lyrics by Kanye West and a group of artists that he worked with to create a song called Hurricane, which is on Donda, which is um, really good. This is the song that I felt was the most powerful, so I, uh, I analyzed these lyrics with some of my students. We talked about things and what they mean, and uh, this is what's going on in the song uh, based on my understanding. So... We got this great chorus. Um, see this in 3D, all lights out for me, all lights out for me. Lightning strikes the beach. That's the first line that I thought was particularly powerful. That's something to look for when you're like trying to get your mind around something and like what, what it means and how it works. Lightning strikes the beach to me sets a really powerful tone, mood, atmosphere. You know, it's dark and uh, we have this protagonist. We have this eye. You know, this is this is the person that the song is about. This is the person who's going through some stuff. And uh, so this would be like structure. You know, how is the how is the song structured? And it's really structured so that the sung choruses present a solution, a solution to a problem. What's the problem? You know, being alive is a problem. You know, it's it's not easy. And um, these two rappers, Kanye West and Lil Baby, are both like successful, but that doesn't mean that life is easy. And so they dig into some of the ways that life is hard. Um, and then the sung chorus is from the very beginning. So we have a chorus. This is structure. Structure is how something is built. We have a sung chorus. Then we have Lil Baby's rap verse. Then we have a bridge sung by The Weeknd. And Casey added some vocals. And Casey is like amazing. He's 23 years old. Uh, really like powerful vocals. Um, then we have Kanye's verse. So problem, problems of life, problems of life. Um, but then the solution returns at the end. And the solution is actually there from the beginning. So that's structurally kind of interesting. Is like um, you come back to the problem, then the solution is there, then the problem's there, and then the solution's there. So that could be like a, a, a deeper level of, of meaning that you might find in a song like this if you're looking for it, is like the solution is always there. And I think that the Kanye would probably feel that way because it seems like the solution that's being alluded to is an idea of Christian salvation. And I think that uh, I think that's something that he believes in very strongly. And so when you're analyzing lyrics like this, it's not like, um, it doesn't have to be that it, I believe in that or that I don't believe in that. Um, but it's really about what is the song presenting as far as far as in this particular song seems to be set up so that there's a problem and a solution and the solution seems to be Christian salvation. So where does that, where does that Christian salvation come into these lyrics and why is that interesting or powerful? Well, it's through a motif and a motif is something that, uh, something that comes back in a song or or a book or a movie or really any piece of art but a motif is just something that is used maybe in different ways as as you move through it and there, usually once you start examining what artists do with motifs you can get to a deeper level of understanding for for you know how they're trying to affect you emotionally or what they're trying to teach you about life most art that's good is going to try to teach you something about life so motif the motif of water and so we have early on i can walk on water don't let me drown and so th this first chorus is very important so we had the lightning strikes the beach well that's frightening that's really terrifying i think about the darkness i think about lightning coming down from the sky and like piercing the darkness and illuminating a dark beach all lights out for me finally free found the god and me so that is a very clear reference to like some kind of conversion. You know, it's a religious conversion. And I want you to see, I can walk on water. And that's an allusion. So an allusion, we talk about Christian salvation. Allusion, uh, Jesus was able to walk on water according to Christian theology and, you know, things that are written in the Bible. And so when an artist says something that makes you think very powerfully of, of something else that's out there, especially something that's well known, like, uh, like, like the Christian stories of Jesus, it's called an illusion. And that's a very effective one. Um, because in this one, he 
this person who was so frightened at the beginning, I can walk on water a thousand miles from shore. I can float on the water. Father, hold me close. This is an illusion. So Father, if you know uh, Christian theology, if you know about that worldview, Father is another name for God, God the Father. So hold me close. Don't let me drown. So there's this fear of drowning, and that's how water is used at the, at the opening. But that's not it for water. We have water here. We have water again. I can walk on water. And don't let me drown are repeated. And then we even have some water in the problem verses. So this is, this is a solution. This is a conversion. Someone who felt like they were alone and lights were out, surrounded by darkness, then so that's an that's another motif of light and dark and we could look through here and find more references to light and darkness because that's like the that's like the colors that uh that the artist is painting with you know i'm interested in this idea of 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 light and darkness i'm interested in this idea of water maybe fire and uh there's also sleep is repeated i can't sleep in and then down here we have so we silently sleep so a little baby's verse, we have, I threw my sins over the deep end. The deep end is part of a swimming pool. So that's, we have that again. And then the problems are, they're the problems of life. Uh, sometimes I just want to restart. I just want to restart it. I can't sleep in. Normally I can't sleep in. I just want to restart it. Like, you know, thinking about things, problems. Then we come back. Casey's vocals. I know you won't. I know you won't. You look over us. This is this is these are ideas about um, you know what God does for people from a Christian perspective. You look over us. I know. So we silent the sleep. Then bring down the rain. So here is like a little bit of a transformation in like what this water means because water was scary. Don't let me drown. But now, don't let me rain. You know, bring down the rain because we can sleep silently. So it's like, and, you know, and so if this becomes a very powerful and important line if you want to really interpret, like, you know, like what's really happening in the song and what, what it offers, as, you know, by way of like, hey, this is, this is, you know, this is something that might help you with your life. So the real power, the real power of a motif is when it starts to develop and move in a direction. And motifs are related to themes. Uh, motifs a lot of a lot of times are like the way that a theme is communicated or the way that a theme develops. And so here we have water, which is initially related to drowning and terror, is kind of like now bring down the rain. I, I don't need to be afraid of the rain anymore. Um, and then we have Kanye's verse: "God made it rain, the devil made it hail." You know, so there's more allusions to you know. Christian ideas that the, the devil um, exists and you know can do things, and so here's this, and it almost is like very kind of powerful and effective response to this. So you're saying, okay, so now we're going to be afraid of rain, but guess what? The devil came back and made it hail, and now he talks about some of his problems, which are, um, you know, they're real. They're real, even though he has a sixty million dollar home. It's a lot to digest when your life is always moving. Architectural digest, but I needed home improvement, $60 million home, never went home to it. Now, some students thought that this was kind of a flex, like, hey, I got a $60 million home, I've never even been there. Um, but I think, it, I, I think it, it could be interpreted that way, but I interpret it as more like a, what a joke, you know? Like, you, you, I, don't even have a, I don't even have a place to be where I feel like home. Because he had a pretty tough, had a pretty tough year, Kanye. You know, he's going, been going through some stuff, and I think this is what he feels about himself. Genius gone clueless. You know, he is a genius, musical genius, a uh, maybe a business marketing genius, maybe, uh, you know, very very good at doing certain things in life, but uh, very very bad at doing some other things. And he kind of fell on his face a couple different times in this last year and uh, now he's coming back to music and you know and he's he's doing he's doing good because this is a very good album 
And then finally, we have the weekend back. Light again. Demons again. Father, Christian ideas again. Hold me close. Don't let me drown. Asking for help. Problem and solution. But it, but it moves in a spiral, you know? I don't think anybody thinks that any solution is the final solution, you know, like, like, ah, now it's over because, because life comes back, trouble comes back, temptation comes back. And so, oh, I didn't really realize I was doing this. And so what do you have? A hurricane. That's a hurricane. The title, hurricane, another reference to water.